Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today is our last session, and uh, we will start from stakeholders. So here you can view the list of stakeholders. You can add stakeholders. <clears throat> You can add stakeholder name and uh, you can select type, natural person or juristic person. And uh, you can enter ID number or registration number, pet number and uh, date of birth, nationality of that stakeholder. And uh, you can enter postal address, physical address, uh, business address and contact details. Next, uh, roles and uh, designations. Uh, if this stakeholder is a shareholder, you can take this option, then other fields will activate. So you can enter appointment date, share set, and uh, if resignation date available, you can enter. And uh, if you tick this shareholder tick box, this uh, issued share capital will activate and uh, you can enter that uh, share details, certificate number, share class, allotment date, quantity, nominal value, uh, value of shares, share status, and paid. After that, you can save. If this uh, stakeholder is not a shareholder, you can untick and uh, you can save uh, from this point. Next, uh, company roles. From here, you can add company roles. Uh, some default company roles also available. If you want to add, you can add by clicking this, add company role. You can add description and you can save. Next, uh, stakeholders report. From here, you can generate stakeholders report. You can select stakeholders and uh, you can select active, inactive or both stakeholders. And if you want to display only shareholders, you can take this option. If you want to view all stakeholders, you can untick. And from report option, you can select summary or detail and you can generate the report. Next, uh, company roles reports. From here, from this report, you can generate company roles report you can select company role and stakeholders and you can uh, view the report
okay uh, next we will move to share capital from here you can add your share class you can add uh, share class quantity of shares nominal value and you can save next uh, you can view the share register from this report okay now we have completed the accountants area next uh, we will move to reports from here uh, you can generate accounting intelligence reporting you can design uh, layouts or reports financial reports from this uh, accounting intelligence reporting section and other sections customers supplies and these report we have discussed when we are doing each module okay uh, so we will move to accounting intelligence reporting can enter company name here and click sign in And uh, in this report section, CH intelligence report section, there are uh, reports, balance sheet, then dashboard, accounting, financial management pack, profit and loss report like that. Uh, there are uh, many reports. And uh, in addition to your financial reports, uh, you can generate, uh, you can generate that your financial reports from uh, accountants area. In addition to that, you can generate reports from this section, okay? And also uh, you can design reports from this uh, Sage Intelligence Reporting.